Hey guys, I'm Ashley and this is Chip Builds and today we're going to make an African cutout. So the wood I'm using is really long so I cut it down at the miter saw to make it easier to cut on the table saw. I used the table saw to rip all these boards into 2 inch strips. Okay, so the wood I'm using for this project is this reclaimed uh, fence board, I guess you'll call it. Um, I had stained this and got this uh, in December to make a set for a children's musical that happened. And they're just going to tear it down and throw it away, so I figured I might as well just grab these boards because you never know when you can use them in another project. For the most part, the wood's okay. There's quite a few knots and it splits really easily, but so far it's been really great for this wall art project. Next, I hot glued my African cutout to the board that I was going to use for the second one. This is a template that I had from a previous project and I just decided to use it for this one. I used a quarter inch pattern bit on my router to cut out the other silhouette. I then cut the various strips to smaller sections so it would be easier to glue to the backer board. I cut these pieces oversized that way they would hang over a bit and I would just put glue on the board and put some pressure with just my hands to hold the boards in place. It turns out I didn't need to use any clamps for this project because my intern got this covered by just sitting on both of the boards for equal amount of times. Once the boards were dry, I flipped it over and put one inch brad nails into the back of it so that you wouldn't show on the front. The only thing is, one or two of them did shoot through to the front, so I just used a hammer to kind of pound them back into place just so that you wouldn't feel it when you run your hands over the piece. Once the two silhouettes were all ready to go, I used the quarter inch pattern bit again just to flush up the top of the board to the backer board of the Africa silhouette. This took a little bit of time, but I just went slow and then it turned out really great. I added an antiquing stain to it just to give it a little bit more depth to the whole piece and I let it dry and then I lightly sanded some of it off just so that it wouldn't be overpowering to the brown stain underneath. so much for watching this video. When I think about it now, I think it definitely would have been easier to probably just use a jigsaw to cut everything out rather than having to deal with the router. It's just really loud and you know sometimes it can go the wrong way, it's a little scary. But overall I think these came out great. I made these for an event that's happening at my church in a few weeks and I think they're going to be really great.